want to get into the record in a minute, but you, you did mention uh, raising a family. I know there's a there's a new addition to your household. Yeah, we're three now. Well, we're, we're five in total. So five altogether. Yeah, three kids now. So how old is the newest one? He's just about three months old now. Wow, how's that going? It's going well. I'm feel a bit far from home right now, you know. So I'm looking forward to getting back there in a couple of days. And, you know, uh, raising kids is always an adventure. What's his musical ability at this point? Is he playing backup? At three months, yeah. He's doing a bit of backup vocal and harmonica. But, um, you know, step by step, you can't just rush them into it. I don't want to be one of those pressure parents, you know, who sort of uh, force them to... Is that an eagle? No, that's a crow. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> same family, same idea. Yeah, it's basically the same thing. <laughs> So I guess you guys were expecting during the, the making of this yeah. album. Mm -hmm. Would you consider that more uh, distracting or inspiring? Well, I mean, it's not that it's distracting. It's, you know, your life, it's, it's not just something that happens. I mean, you, you, your whole life changes when that happens, when you're expecting a baby. Your whole, your whole mindset, uh, you sort of, re you dedicate yourself to in so many ways to thinking about what the future will bring. It's not so much that the, the two things run counter to each other, they're, they're, they run parallel to each other. Your songwriting feeds off of your, off, off of your life and the changes happening in your life. So, I mean, that's about as profound a change. There we go. It's, it's, yeah. it's like a built-in soundtrack to the uh, interview. This interview just went to the next level, you know? <laughs> There we go. <laughs> we'll just keep going in between I was, soundtrack. This I was, is the opening band soundtrack. I was here. feeling that beat there, yeah. Really just describe the environment that you were writing in in that basement. What, what does it look like in there? I'm picturing Wayne's World's basement for some reason. I don't know no, why. No, it's not. No, it's mainly toys, uh, rocking horses, and uh, uh, arts and crafts table, and, uh, you know, uh, dolls, headless dolls, and it's pretty pretty bizarre. The children's, I take it? Or this is all, are... yeah, this is not my stuff. Yeah, this is my kid's stuff. Uh, so that's just, there's not much space for dad right now. You know, I gotta, I'm trying to clear out the garage at the moment and I'm gonna hopefully have my own spot where I can leave uh, my, my gear set up and get in there more regularly because right now, you know, you're locked in and yeah. tripping over. So this is disheartening uh, for me to hear. I have these visions of a man cave sometime in my future and Sounds like no matter what. It, the, it the might be. I wish you well in that <laughs> pursuit. You know, it just hasn't come to me yet. So it's it's weird how after all this time you're still really nervous about people's reaction. I think because it's so so personal. You know, it's just you're wearing your heart on your sleeve. If you and I were to sit down and just sort of get straight into a, a heart to heart that that digs right at the core of you know who you are, it's not an easy thing to sort of dredge that out. 